Hello, um, I am going to be doing a, um, a tutorial on this beautiful palette that my best girlfriend gave me, Alex. It's called Tartlet and it is um, Amazonian clay matte palette eyeshadows. So it's got these really nice, this sort of um, a lot of like beige and mauvey purple colours which are beautiful on pretty much anybody. Um, so I'm going to do an, a beautiful heavy eye with it. I wore it yesterday and it lasted so well. It did not look like at 10 o'clock at night it looked like I just put it on and I put it on at 9am in the morning. So it is really, really long wearing. It's beautiful. Um, the colours are super pigmented and they're very rich. So you need to go in really lightly with your brushes. Um, but I will do a sort of like a shaped out eye with some strong brows and um, I'll get started. Thanks. I'm going to be using all of these purples and maybe these two just to buff out and then a bit of brown, um, black and the really dark aubergine. So I have based out my eye with a Sephora 12 hour eye base. I found that that wears really really well. Um, it's probably my favourite eye base. Just because it's not cakey it's very very sheer. And um, it does set the eyeshadows really well. Um, but if you really want your eyeshadows to look good you do need to put a proper base on. I do do right underneath my eyes as well. Because my eyes are hooded. Um, I can tend to have makeup come underneath my eyes, so that's a good start for anyone with a hooded eye. So I'm going to go in with the dark purple and the mauve. And I've noticed that they're so matte that you actually really have to quite work to blend them out um, because they do grab, which is good, but you've got to just be gentle with your application. So this is sort of like a fluffy cut crease, sort of like an everyday look that I wear. I might make it a little bit more extreme. Put it into the eyebrows. Coming in with those browns mixed together. against the edge of my eye quite far just to make them look bigger. These colours are so beautiful for pretty much anything. The mauves really bring out the blue in my eyes which is nice. I'm not going to do the top, I'm going to do a heavy base and then a wing on the top with a liquid eyeliner. So the really dark purple. the mauve, just 
just to buff out that really dark. Now this will create a nice kind of winged out eye that's quite big but I like my eyes to look as big as possible so that's why I bring out the eyeshadow so far down. I like soft fluffy kind of makeup. Okay. So that's the palette. Now I'm going to come in with just a liquid eyeliner. This is um, Bourjois black eyeliner. I don't tend to wear black eyeliner a whole lot just because I think that with hooded eyes it can be really, really hard. So I will just even those out together. Whoop. And I know this is quite an extreme look, but I would wear this much of a day. I like a lot of makeup. I like a lot of makeup on me and I like a lot of makeup on anyone else I'm looking at. So this will be my day makeup. I'm just going to do kind of like a flat eyeliner on the outer edge of my eye. They're never identical, but I don't really care, as long as they look kind of nice together. That's good enough. Okay, I'm going to do a bit of like a strong eyebrow just to enhance the eyes. So I am going to use, where's my favourite colour? I'll use um, Charcoal by MAC, Charcoal Brown, with a drop of water on an angled brush by MAC as well. So we'll do them a bit darker than normal. Actually, I'm going to mix Charcoal Brown with Wedge. I'll do Wedge and Charcoal Brown on the inside of my eyebrow. I have such pale eyebrows that I really need to um, tint the whole lot of them because they're really, really pale. I like them a bit darker. And I always thicken them up a lot just because I like a thicker eyebrow. It makes you look younger and fresher and softer. Um, really thin eyebrows tend to be aging as well as they can look a bit angry. And I'm not really a massive fan of that look on myself anyway. So that's Wedge. Now I'm just going to do the edges just with charcoal brown just to give them a nice sharp edge.
Okay. I'll chuck on my mascara. They're real by benefit. They're nice and big and fluffy. Really easy to build up. Make them as big as I can. Okay, the highlighter I'm wearing is Topshop and it is called Chameleon Highlighter, Mother of Pearl. It is gorgeous it's like pink and gold and it is perfect for a really like goldeny pink highlighter beautiful and like a really tan skin um okay blush i am going to do probably just this um by terry it's an english brand it's like a fresh pink it's like a matte one too. Seeing I'm doing matte eyes, I might as well have matte cheeks. I want too much on. Just a bit in the brows. And we will do a nice lip. I'll do Please Me, which is by MAC, matte. And I'm going to do the same colour I always do on my lips, which is like, it's like a beige lip. I'm going to outdraw them just a little bit. And then I'm just going to draw on top of that again, just to break it down a little bit, a bit dark, a bit too pink. I'll just put a bit of wedge on it from my eyebrow. Just a bit of the eyebrow pencil that I had, make it more brown. White eyeliner, and we're nearly done. Bottom lashes. So I have to say this is a beautiful palette. I've never used Tarte before the brand. I think it's relatively new. I wouldn't know 
um, but it is a beautiful palette and it sets like a rock. So if you base your eye properly, you can literally go out for like, I don't know, all day into the night and it will not budge at all. I was really impressed with the wearability of it. And the colours are gorgeous. They're like kind of subtle, but really pretty. And because they're all matte, they look really silky when they're applied and buffed out. They have this lovely, like, smoky look. So there you go. I hope you like that and um, I highly recommend them if you're looking for like a really nice matte palette for every day or party or anything or you just want to have one palette that you use all the time. Perfect for any skin tone. Um, so I hope you like it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and um, see you later.